Uh, this is Mike McKinstry from Basquatch Hunter TV. I'm here with my good buddy, Andy Grossman. And uh, what, what's your job? Do you, I don't know how to describe what you do. <laughs> it's hard to describe. Yeah. So I'm a firearms outdoor industry photographer, writer, um, media guy, I guess. Like, you, you name it, I do it in the outdoor You industry. work with things that go bang. I do work with things that go bang yeah, quite that's often. That's the best yes. way to describe it. Stabby so, things and things <laughs> that go bang. Things that go stab and things that go pew. Yeah. And I like that you're wearing appropriate attire, too. Yeah. Right? The keeping the, it real shirt. Keeping it real, man. And uh, the thermal, too. They're both from Freedom Fatigues. Yeah. And uh, it's awesome apparel company, guys. One of the most comfortable things in the world. And uh, I'm going to take them out fishing today in my world and see how we do on the water. But we're going to hit a new body of water that I honestly have never fished. I've never been on. Um, and this is kind of like your home, yeah, your home is, lake here. This is my home base So here. Uh, this is not my comfort <laughs> zone, but fishing is my comfort zone. So we're going to see how we do on the water first. Then later on in the episode, we're going to go in his comfort zone. And he's going to show me how to pull the trigger and make things go bang. So stay tuned for the second part of the episode. But for now, we're going to go hit the water and find some good fish. You ready? Let's do it. Right, let's go. Hell yeah. My name is Mike McKinstry. I travel the country with a fishing rod, a kayak, and a camera in search of adventure and one big mythical fish that we call the Basquatch. We fish for any species we can, but we have a huge passion for bass fishing. Along our travels, we look for adventure, exploring, and new ways to catch fish and have as much fun as we possibly can. That's a good bass, Dad. Not only do we release our fish back to the water, but we also find new and exciting ways to give back to local communities and to pay it forward. So make sure you take care of the water you touch, the fish you catch, and the people you meet. And welcome to Basquatch Hunter TV. Basquatch Hunter TV Outdoor Adventures, produced by M1 Studios. Basquatch Hunter TV is brought to you by FX Custom Rods. Quality, precision, performance. Yak Gear. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Three Waters Kayaks. Abu Garcia. Fish to win. Feel free kayaks. Railblazer. Hold everything. So this is a brand new lake. I've never fished this body of water before, and I wasn't sure what to expect. So usually I plan for like stained water or partially clear water, because that's kind of the average. Um, but little did I know this lake is about 10 to 12 foot visibility right now. It's pretty clear for the water level being so low and for us having a pretty uh, bad week of rain last week. But the key to clear water fishing that I've learned is far casting. So that way you don't spook the fish, the fish don't see you. The further you can cast in clear water, the better chance you have of getting fish. Little guy. <sighs> Just a little guy. It'll work. Better than nothing. He's on the back of his friends. So when you're looking at docks on the side of a lake like this, if you see the dock come out really far, that means it's a really shallow drop off because the docks need to come out far enough for the boat to be able to have the motors down in the water. And if the docks are really short, it's a steeper drop off. Um, so another really cool thing um, that you can visually see how the grade of a, of a drop off is gonna be is if you look at the shore. So if the shoreline is flat, 
the drop off is most likely going to be really shallow and very gradual where if the shoreline is like a really steep hill then it's going to be a very steep drop off whatever grade you see on the land usually translates into the water as well so it gives you a really good visual hopefully uh hopefully these little visual tricks will help you get more fish in the boat and you have a better day on the water so what kind of duck is that they're mallards look at that i got distracted by the ducks Oh, that's a good bass, too. Yes. There we go. That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful bass right here. Took that topwater choppa 90 from Berkeley. Took it in there really good. It's a beautiful fish. All right, let her go. Beautiful fish. Well, you never know what you're gonna get, especially uh, on top water too. That was a great strike. I was a little bit distracted looking at some ducks when uh, that fish hit, but still hit. All right, let's get some more. All right, so the rod and reel setup that's been working for me today is a seven foot one, medium heavy fast, extreme angler series from FX Custom Rods paired with the Revo STX reel from Abu Garcia and the 10 pound X5 Berkeley braid. Now I'm using the X5 Berkeley braid because the abrasion resistance in the X5 is much higher than the X9 braid. The X9 is better castability, the X5 is better abrasion resistance. So when I'm using top water, like this Berkeley Chapo 90 is what I caught my big fish on today. When I'm using a bait like this, where I know it's gonna go around vegetation, I know it's gonna go around structure, I want a line that's not gonna get burrs on it or snag at all. Um, also, the seven foot one medium heavy fast rod is a perfect combination for me in this open water top water, because I need enough backbone to be able to pull fish out of vegetation. I also need enough length to get a super long cast in this clear water, and then I need sensitivity so I can feel that top water strike right when it happens. That way you can set the hook. So this combination will help you get more fish in the boat, so make sure you go check it out. Oh! Oh! I missed it. I missed it. I got excited and I pulled it too fast. The number one mistake of a frog bite is you try to pull it too fast. There really is a zoo back here. You I weren't told you, there's a legit zoo back here. There's like elephants, giraffes, hippos. All kinds oh, like of all stuff the back like here. all these big wood animals. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea who does it, who maintains it. Every year they add stuff to it, and it's, it's like pretty this, cool. This big maze of canals. Yeah, uh, and there's just random like big plywood giraffes and elephants and stuff usually. Yeah. And, uh, and we got to see some zebras. But yeah, I guess this is, uh, this is, the, this the, is the fabled zoo. zoo. Yeah, it's always sights to see when you're out fishing. You never know what you're gonna find. Yep. Man, that's a cool place though, man. Cool. Thanks for showing me uh, your local attraction. <laughs> that sucks. You get that huge adrenaline rush like you think you got a fish, you fight it, and then it jumps and it goes poof. Oh, here he is, here he is, he's back. He came back. <laughs> it's a little guy, but he was hungry. He's gonna jump. There he goes. Oh dude, he is so mad. He is so mad at me right now. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, I'll be nice. Oh, he's pulling drag. I'll be nice to you. Oh, there we go. Man, <laughs> dude, he was so mad at me. Oh, I missed him on that first one. He spit it out and he came right back and just annihilated. This is the Berkeley cash out bait. And uh, this is one of my favorite finesse baits right here. And on uh, this nice sandy bottom with the weeds around it.
thing just hammered it. Look at that thing go! Oh yeah. I think this is the same pissed off fish you had, man. <laughs> He's not happy. There it is. There you go, nice fish, bro. Oh yeah. Tell you, man, that Berkeley cash out bait. Not bad. <laughs> Here, fish on. Yo. Fish on. <laughs> Look at this little guy. <laughs> Talk about a double up. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. Well, he didn't nope. want to be on. <laughs> Dude, this bait out here, I'm telling you. This this bait is it. This thing is killing it right now. Oh, it's angry fish again. Dude, they're mad over here. Dude, he tried taking this bait down. Not today, buddy, sorry. It's a little guy, but it's a fish. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's back. Oh, it's a good fish, too. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, they are so angry. Dude, it's the same fish twice again. It's insane. Whew. They are so angry, they don't care. It's all about working the bait correctly too, man. With this Berkeley cash out bait, if you miss a strike once, you just pop it again, and they just get so aggressive with these things. But here we go. It's like fish number five or six on that bait now. Beautiful. So bad. All right, so you're in the Big Fish 103. It's a brand new kayak. Yep. Um, you're actually the first person to use it besides me. Really? Um, but what do you think of it, man? Your first honestly, time in a new kayak. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I was a little worried being only like 10 foot. Yeah. And I'm a six foot one, 200 pound dude. Like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I don't know. I do a lot of like <laughs> fishing in, you know, uh, boats and stuff and never really done a kayak fishing trip, so. Um, I was a little nervous, but it ha handles really well, tracks really well, caught some big fish on it. How does it work standing up? How easy is it? It's not to... bad. Like, I mean, it's, dude, I'm, I didn't think I'd be comfortable. <laughs> it's actually really comfortable yeah, to stand dude. up in. So. It, it's funny because it is a shorter kayak, but no, know, it's, it, hand, it holds you really well. Yeah, yeah. So I want to ask you, dude, yeah. since what you do is, uh, you know, more with firearms and in the outdoor industry, yep. how different is this? from what you normally do for your, like, this is not a normal day for work. No, this is, this is laid back. That's what, that's what fishing is to me. It's relaxing where like going out to the range, you're shooting stuff. You're, I mean, really you're taking your life in your hands every yeah. time you go to the range, technically. Well, there's a lot more adrenaline and shooting firearms. A whole lot more, yeah. But this is just a little more, a little slower. Yeah, exactly. Slow things down a little bit. This is, it my, is. This is my day of work yeah. and this is your break. Yeah. And then when we get to go do what you do, it'll be like your day of work, yeah. and it'll be my break. Exactly. So it works out, man. <laughs> Heck yeah, this is awesome. I love it. Well, a couple more casts. You want to head out, and uh, I'll show you some excitement, show you what I do in my world. Sounds like fun to me, man. I'll show you how Pew Pew Nation does it. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, thank you guys for watching this, uh, this segment here. And we're going to keep on fishing, but I'm going to kick you guys out so we can keep on catching more fish here. But stay tuned because right after the commercial break, you're going to see us go into Andy's world. And you're going to see some amazing, I cannot wait to see what we're going to get into. But I know he has an amazing collection. And I know he has some surprises that we're going to have to go see. So stay tuned, guys. There's going to be a lot of action coming up next. But we're going to get back to fishing for now. Stay tuned for another adventure from Basquatch Hunter TV. Oh, it's cold out here today. It's cold in Michigan. Definitely hoodie weather. Yeah. Well, we have a fun day, fun day of shooting today. All right, ready? Let's do it. Let's do this. This is Mike McKenzie from Basquatch Hunter TV, and uh, it's my good buddy Andy Grossman here, and we just had a great time on the water and a lot of fun in my world where I'm comfortable. Now we're on dry land in Andy's world, so what do we got going on today, man? What do we got in store for us? I brought you out a whole 
variety of guns today. Uh, pistols, rifles, shotguns. We got some stuff to heat up Michigan here because it's cold. Um, and then a little bit of surprise at the end that uh, you're gonna have some fun with. Yeah, some of these things <laughs> on this table here I've never been seen before. They don't exist in my world of uh, what I knew firearms were. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun today. So ready to hit some targets? Let's do it. Have some go. steel. All right, so our good friends from Freedom Fatigues Apparel dropped off some awesome goodies for us. So the most comfortable hoodies in the world we've ever had, some of the best hats ever. What's cool is before we put our eyes and ears on, which are incredibly important for shooting firearms, I'm gonna switch to this range hat that Freedom Fatigues makes. And the reason why it's good for range hats is it doesn't have the button on top like most hats do. So when you put your headset on, then it has nothing to push into your head on top. So me and Andy both have range hats on, so it'll be a lot more comfortable for our earphones. And, uh, it's genius. genius. It's yeah. absolutely genius. It is. <laughs> it's amazing how much you don't realize how much you need it until you have it. Exactly. You know? yeah. Like, yeah. You know, huge difference. So, all right, let's get our protection on and start, start shooting, man. Oh, yeah. All right, so what do we got first to shoot here, man? All right, so I picked a bunch of guns that are really special to me to bring out today. Um, I like building my own guns, customizing them. So I got a Glock 19 here that's about the most custom Glock 19 you're ever going to shoot. You're ever going to hold, hold in your hands. So um, have at it. Let's see what we can do with this thing. All right, well, let's see what you do with it, man. Good luck. All righty. Seems okay to me. So there's a difference between what I do for a living and what you do for a living. <laughs> <laughs> it did take a second to acquire that dot. I haven't shot this pistol in a while. But... Yeah, you had the target flipping back and forth. Yeah. I was like, this is why he shoots gun for a living. And uh, this is why I fish for a living. Yep. So. so you want to shoot something unique? Yeah, let's shoot something different. All right, let's do it. Cool gun, man. Cool what, gun. What do we got next? Let's see what we got. I'm excited. We shot some fun nine mils. That's your nine mil round. Pretty average size. I know size. you've shot it, but. Jeez. Yeah. The 50 cal Beagle. Yeah, so we shot this thing when we first unveiled this gun. And uh, if you guys haven't seen it, the episode we did in Louisiana, um, go back and watch that one. We unveiled this gun, how it got made and everything. Uh, but we're gonna shoot this huge round out of this huge gun and uh, hopefully make some things explode here. So hopefully I got one round left. Hopefully I can go four for four with these water jugs here and make another one explode. So let's try it. Yes. I think it's awesome. Four for four. Uh, this, this gun feels like being punched in the hand, but uh, does a lot of damage to the target. All right, so we shot a bunch of pistols. Obviously, we shot the largest handgun in the world. Why not? Uh, this is my custom AR-15. Looks mean. <laughs> All right, well, let's flip some steel with it. How are right. you, buddy? All right, good to go. All right, this thing's pretty smooth, man. Beautiful gun. Told you, it's nice and smooth. Runs really well. Obviously, it's super accurate. Yeah, I'll take some credit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. All right, let's see what we have next. What's the next gun we All got right. for today? A lot of you guys don't know this, but I'm a huge World War II buff, and uh, I'm really big into like the fighter planes. I have some of my tattoos even. And uh, I saw this build on the table right here, and it, it grabbed my attention immediately. So have at it. Let's get it loaded up. Short, yeah. small, but it's, it's good. Kind of like me. <laughs> Must be why you like it.
Uh, so you're handing me a banana clip full of 12 gauge shotgun shells. You've never uh, seen that before? I've never seen this before. <laughs> so what what does this do? So this is the VR80 from Rock Island. This thing is a 12 gauge AR style shotgun, pretty much. Have at it. All right, so uh, the gun's almost bigger than you. Dude, <laughs> this feels absolutely ridiculous but in the best way possible. Uh, <laughs> dude, I'm so excited to shoot this. This I is so stupid. Up. All right, so that was an incredible time. It was way more fun than it probably should have been. Uh, so now we're gonna use a smaller magazine here and go a little bit faster and see what we can do here. Man, thank you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing in the world here, did again. <laughs> you like grabbed two of my fingers. <laughs> um, all right, so you shot a lot of cool stuff today. Yeah. I think it's time for one of these. Oh, no, nice. no, no, don't open that yet. That's our ammo. 12 ounces of awesome out of the can can. Uh, all right, I'm game, let's do it. <laughs> and it goes on. Jesus, <laughs> this thing kicks, dude. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. All right, dude. Super good time. Here's your ammo. <laughs> Cheers. Let's do it. It tastes delicious and looks delicious. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stay like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so had a lot of fun with the can shooter, and now we're gonna try to shoot and see how far we get this thing to go into the woods here. So I'm gonna load up our last, uh, our last can of ammo here and uh, see how it goes. How far did it go? I mean, go? it had some momentum. It did. Uh, yeah. I like this. That should be bad. Your guitar. All right, man. That was a great time, dude, shooting. Yeah. Like, thank you so much for uh, showing me your passion in the firearm world. And I got to share my passion with you in fishing. And now you get to share your passion with me with firearms. Dude. Exactly. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, this is a great Best time. Best of both dude. worlds. Yeah. Yeah. Which gun was your favorite gun? that we shot uh in all honesty man the desert eagle yeah did the most damage uh watching everything explode is the cool. jugs the jugs with all the right, desert guys. eagle pretty cool good day today so uh i wanted to do something special for us oh geez what is that we are a little cake here because we that. hit two million viewers dang Dude, congratulations that, man. man congratulations holy crap all there right you so. go sweet you got a light or something I uh, happen to have something that we could light these candles with. I don't have a lighter with me. I want to light these candles though. It's super cool. I want to celebrate. I happen to have something. Dude. <laughs> we can light those candles up. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <sighs> Of your episode, I'll literally just pick some up. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> All 
All right, so that was an incredible time. Uh, being able to experience other people's worlds like this is absolutely amazing. It's probably the best part of this experience. So a huge thank you to the guys at Freedom Fatigues for giving us some nice, comfortable, warm apparel to wear in this cold Michigan day. And Andy, thank you so much, man. <laughs> this was yeah. a blast, dude. This was literally fun. a blast. Yeah. This yeah. was so much fun, man. Yeah. A little bit more high energy than fishing, huh? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, thanks again for having me out, yeah. man. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, make sure you guys check out what Andy does at Pew Pew Nation on Facebook. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Feed them for figs. <laughs> Our good friends from Feed Him. Now it's in my head. <laughs> now I'm saying Feed Him. Blip! <laughs> Blip! <laughs> Slap. And uh, get more fish. Uh, I don't know. <laughs>